that tree and he's so wonderful in this film. And Naroma, can I say, when my friends and I were sitting around, I'm guessing who was going to play which role. Thank you. 
course. Oh, yeah, of course. You look incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're both like shaking in our boots right here because it's just incredible to see everyone here right now is just wild. This means the it's, world to us, yeah. It's very moving. Yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah. emotional. We're really grateful to see you all. Thank you so we much. We love you. For coming. Um, a wild, wild ride. Um, I love her very, very dearly. She's still a little bit of a part of me right now. Um, to be able to play someone who is different and is on the outside and represents all of us different queer crazy people. Um, I'm very, very proud of it. Um, and I hope that we make you proud too, yeah. Oh. It's, it's truly the honor of a lifetime. And this is, you know, the greatest journey of our lives. Yeah. And to do this together, especially with Cynthia and with John and with this incredible cast and such beautiful people, incredible souls and creative, the thoughtfulness and every single layer of this production is just so moving and it's the honor of our lives. I'm Truly. so grateful to be here. Truly. I really am. You know, when I knew that this was maybe gonna be happening, I was already so excited just to watch it when it came out. When I found out that uh, Cynthia and Ari were cast, I was blown away. And then to have the honor to be a part of it, it's, it's really ridiculous and amazing. I was in like fifth grade and we took a school trip to New York. And it was one of the first shows that I ever saw on Broadway with the original cast, <gasps> uh, before the I Tonys that season. And I wow. remember just g driving back from New York to DC and singing every song at the top of our lungs. Um, so yeah, I, I've, I've been a fan since 2003, I guess. I love Bach because Baca goes through a hard time, but he's, he's really coming from a place of just like trying to find his place. I'm not that girl, actually, he's a pretty good song for him, but you know, <laughs> it was better to uh, listen to Cynthia and, and Ariana sing it than. The film has beautiful themes of sort of, I don't know, inclusivity and acceptance, but I think one of the things that's beautiful about it is the ways that we can be convinced to hate the people that we really should love. I was also a big, big fan of that stage show. I cried my eyes out when I first saw Dina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth with on oh. Broadway. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's like being in a Broadway show, which I've done a couple of. But this is like the, you know, this is like the opening night. This is the first time we've shown it.
I love that character, you know, Frank Morgan in the original. And I saw Joel Gray, you know, on stage. I'll yes, bet you did too. The original. And I know him a little bit. Oh. Um, yeah, I was thrilled. But then John M. Chu, who's fantastic, uh, and, um, and Mark Platt, and uh, Stephen Schwartz, who did this music, and Winnie Holtzman, the way they wrote it, I was thrilled, thrilled beyond words about it. It is an astonishing cinematic event, Wicked, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. And I just think Dancing Through Life is one of many incredible moments. So, yeah, I'm glad to have got my boots on. Yeah, this means the absolute world to me. To be a part of something so big and so great as Wicked, as my first ever project, big project ever, is absolutely wild. To have me as somebody who is authentically in a wheelchair and to be the first is so important not only for me but so many other disabled people out there, disabled kids, disabled adults.